Hello there and welcome to a little tour of Yosemite Valley. Yeah, it's Saturday and you guys uh, did decide that you want to have a tour and so here we are. We are doing a little tour today of Yosemite Valley uh, just to have a look how far we've uh, got into this project and what we can still improve and what is still open and yeah, all these kind of little things. I will try to keep this tour as short as possible because again, uh, this should be something uh, that you guys can look into yourself in, you know, in hopefully in a few weeks when there hopefully is a new DLC again. Uh, so many things we don't know about yet, but um, we are still hoping for the best. So uh, yeah, we are starting off here in uh, the area where we come out of this wonderful tunnel. And uh, yeah, if we move a little bit further, you can see to the right hand side, we have a little bit of a sparking space. Yes, they are floating around some pieces still. Uh, I didn't get rid of them, on honestly, because I still need them. Uh, but yeah, we, we still move towards the zoo. You can see on the left hand side, there is the Yosemite Valley sign. At the moment, it's in the shadow, uh, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, also, this mountain has to be done. It looks a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, these, these kind of things come uh, as the last thing. Let me just take the stair over here so we have a bit of a better view. Uh, let me just go on top here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can see to the left hand side, this is, side, this is the uh, exit of the tunnel. Um, there's the station for the train here on the left hand side. People still coming to the zoo. I opened the zoo for the test. You can see they come from the parking lot. They go down here and this is the, the big entrance plaza. But the nature is already doing a good job of blocking the view to the ugly sides of the mountain. You can already see uh, a little peek into the zoo, but there is not too much to see. Again, it's a valley, so you're not supposed to see too much right now, uh, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, but if we go further down, you can see there's a little log, uh, you know, being just here. There has been a tree, but it's potentially fallen down or whatever. Uh, so yeah, we continue. And then we finally come to the entrance of Yosemite Valley. I'm still a big fan of the sideline over here. Uh, and as we can see, um, there's only one animal so far in the zoo that is uh, on this display here, and that's the lion. Um, we don't have a gorilla yet, we don't have a hippo yet, uh, or a hippo, and we still don't have a deer. So, yeah, we, we might still look into that. So the left-hand side, there is also a bit of a road system. We have a parking lot here, uh, peeking down, but you know, that's that's something we don't want to consider right now. Um, as we go into the zoo, you can see, I finally managed to put Aston's uh, forestry back in. So it's the Yosemite Valley Trade Depot. It's still a little bit Christmas-ish inspired over here. Um, due to the fact that I haven't changed it since, but I think I will only leave it there. It always reminds of the time when it has been implemented, so it still is a great building. I love it a lot. Um, so we, we do have this wonderful building that fits totally into the style of Yosemite. And uh, yeah, people can just have a little a little snack over here at the beginning, or they get something from the right-hand side with some uh, info kiosks here. You can get some umbrellas, some kiosk. Uh, items so to say so if you need a park map or whatever you can get it here and yeah if we go further we have this little celebration area with a, a nice little pavilion where you can get some drinks and then you have this uh, christmas tree in the middle we have all these little stalls uh, there that provide some food so yeah before you go actually to see some animals you are provided with a lot of food and stuff like that but yeah uh, we just go i think we take the left hand side first because that's the old part and before we then go into the new part. Uh, yeah, we can have this wonderful view already of the lemur habitat, which seems to be very famous uh, as we go in here. So you can really see how many people stand here and have a go and uh, watch the lemurs. Uh, yeah, happy, happy living in their little hut there. But yeah, as we go down, uh, you can see the views changed. Uh, when we when you think of the last tour where this whole area was empty, uh, views changed a lot. You can... You can definitely tell that there's a, bit, a lot being done and also the view of the half dome just uh, makes this for such a good experience here. I think it really, really sells the idea of Yosemite Valley. It all comes together now with all the all the foliage and stuff. Um, I really like it as as this is very much immersive right now because you no matter where you look, it all seems to be quite finished and this is what I really like. Um, yeah, as soon as we've done more in the far background, it looks even better. But yeah, let's continue going down with all the drainage things here uh, to make sure that water is not an issue um, coming down that uh, road here. But yeah, so we, we are in that little lovely little forest area. I think we take the right hand side here through this little uh, alley through, through the you know trees and the foliage and bushes and a little pond here. To the right hand side we can already see some of the pronghorns uh, peeking through there. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, as we move forward, 
Uh, we have on the left hand side some hidden away uh, backstage areas. Um, let me just go in and show you. So this is what you get. It, it's nothing nothing too nice at this point in time. I still have to look into that this looks at least finished uh, because some of the bottom parts I have to do. I, I just should cover that up with some um, easy plaster pieces or whatever. Um, but yeah, so we move forward and um, I should try to move less to not make you guys dizzy. But you can see we are getting a little bit upwards here, a little bit incline uh, we have to take because then we have a way better view of the bison habitat, which is that wonderful area over here. And we should change the sun direction a little bit so you can see a bit more of it. There we go. That looks a lot nicer. So um, this is one of the mountain sides we already covered a little bit. Um, still... Not 100% happy with how it looks, but uh, hopefully that will work in the future. However, I'm super happy with how this grassland, this, this field turned out. I think it looks super beautiful. It looks exactly what I wanted. Um, it's a really natural habitat. It looks totally natural as not even part of the zoo. It almost looks like that this is the zoo border and it... Hello. Um, that's not exactly how you would... Ah, okay. That's better for your back. I tell you, otherwise you're going to... Some serious back pain, I tell you, it's not really how you would love to stand. It's not good for your neck, really not. But yeah, so um, that's the bison habitat. So if we go a bit further, we have still another kiosk here to get some, some food and stuff. And you can sit down and enjoy your meal. Again, this is one of the areas which doesn't look too nice because the whole area is still blank and has to be changed. But yeah, um, I think if we turn around, at least that looks good. Now, one thing I like is also the waterfall in the back here. So it all comes together, but again, this mountain over here has to be done, this has to be done. I'm still not the biggest fan of the mountain sides. I still have to change them. Yeah, on the right hand side you can see still the pronghorns a little bit more, uh, but I will show you a bit better the view of the pronghorns as we move down again. From that little viewing area we go to the right hand side and we go to another viewing area, which is the um, pronghorn uh, habitat, which is all in here and you can see um, around this viewing platform, it's their little habitat and I think uh, I still like this a lot because it's so open, it is it's a li nice little field for them. It really it really seems to be uh, embedded very nicely into this area and that's why I chose to go that route. Nothing really in particular that is different, but yeah. Now uh, we get to the right hand side and this is uh, one of my favorite areas of the whole zoo now. So we have this wonderful open picnic area. We have a little kids playground where they, you know, the parents could leave their kids while they sit here and get their well-deserved uh, little break. And on the other side we have one of the, the few things in, in this game I did which is totally uh, custom and totally not usable unfortunately because this is our bird show. Uh, stage if you will so we have this little thing where the birds can land I imagine that a, a stone eagle or like a normal eagle or you know um, all these kind of uh, birds could could land here and and be part of the show and we have this backstage area where then the uh, people um, or the keeper comes out and or the guide and, and makes a little show we have this little uh, trunk in here or not, not, not really trunk but it's like a little cup where you can put some stuff in and then you have all the other stuff on the right hand side here as well so everything you need for the show so if we go further we have on the left hand side here now our tortoise area this is for the giant aldebra one and if we go to the right hand side this is for the uh, Galapagos I guess yeah it should be um, and if we go in here you can see this is one of the nicest or uh, nice looking most nice looking backstage areas we have a little cupboard here and it's all connected to this hidden away little tunnel which is not yet done but uh, I just like it still and uh, yeah so this is this is the tortoise area now let's uh, cross this little bridge over here we have to take this wow did I actually put this stone so much into the ground? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Hey, what about the litter? That's not nice. What are you standing? What are you looking at? You cannot see anything. There is a bush in your way. You have no x-ray vision, do you? God, okay. So they are looking in this year to see the tortoises. Okay, I, I get that, but yeah. Uh, yeah, then one of my coolest builds, I guess one of the most subscribed ones in the workshop though, is this wonderful uh, education board. I think it really fits this area, but it's just an education board, I guess. Now, uh, let's continue to go back a little bit, because this is where we come to the lemur dome, and we have to change the... Oh, God, it's so crowded here. Holy heck. Um, God, look at that. Uh, we have to change the sun direction again, so we have a better better view. So, so the sun direction is really something that is totally important about the zoo, uh, because it doesn't really... 
uh, help uh, for most uh, sides that you know the sun is really low and the position oh, oh bonobo we still have the bonobo in here um it's the pregnant bonobo we god you moved fast uh but yeah so this is the lemur actually the lemur dome with a bonobo um if you will <laughs> i don't really know why it's in here though but um we we had it in because we made the planet of the apes at the beginning and i deleted it and i couldn't get rid of this one because she's pregnant but since i have disabled all the aging and stuff uh she won't ever get her baby so that's why he sh she's still living in here but yeah so very crowded area. I think it's the most famous one because everyone comes down here and has to, to watch that area first. Maybe we have to change something about this. I don't know. Guest flow has to be something we look into in the future as well. Maybe that's one of the things uh, that we have to change. And again, if, if you see something uh, in this tour, guys, uh, it makes me very happy if you would give me some constructive criticism in the comments down below. Uh, what could be changed? Where you think some... Um, there is some potential for optimization. Let me know in the comments down below. That would help a lot. But now let's go further into the zoo. Now we go to the area of the giant sequoias and we take this right hand side here uh, because that leads us right into the area of the giant sequoias. It's a bit more of a calm area and I like that not so many people walk here. We have this pavilion, which is more like a recreation area for the guests. You can really sit down in the summer when it's really hot. This might be one of the areas where it's a bit cooler, but we take the route to the very right hand side. You can go through one of these aquariums. I like this so much because it's it's so cool because so immersive and it really gives you that feeling of the giant aquariums. Even though they are not in size, not totally in size, they equal like 40 to 50 meters. So that's actually half of the size that the giant aquariums are in real life. But yeah, so we do not go that route right now. We go to the right hand side here to the unfinished. Um, entrance area of the chimpanzee house this is the chimpanzee house and i still like that house a lot because as you can see this is a fully fledged indoor habitat to the one hand side or to to well to one of the two things that we have is a fully fledged uh, inside or indoor area of the chimpanzees but they also have a wonderful outdoor area and if we are in here we have these custom chimpanzee uh, education boards we have a waterfall we have this wonderful little traversable area in the middle which is covered through this netting which is not really a netting it's it's almost like a lot of metal frames put together uh, but yeah so you can see this is this is where the chimpanzees live there we go oh, is this one going to cross us that would be awesome yeah it is look at that look at that it's just crossing that area i love it and people people actually follow them over here that's so cool they have a little of privacy area up here in this area um so people cannot see them but yeah in here it's very nice they can have a, a nice look at the chimpanzees and at the same uh area or at the same time they can have a look at the outside area god my english my english is so bad today uh yeah so that's how it is and if we want to go back we need to go back first because that's how you get further it's a little bit of a tricky thing but um, I wanted to people to go through this area here and so they have to go forth and back and now if we turn to the left you can see people running around here coming running towards us and uh, we just go all the way around here until we come back into a new area which is the big cat area but before we have a last go and have a last look into the chimpanzee area from the outside I like this view still a lot because that is really like I imagine zoos to be so that's the most zoo like uh, thing here unfortunately there is no foliage in here so maybe that's also something we need to do sooner than later um, but before we go to the left hand side which is clearly the, the more beautiful one we go to the right hand side up that hill to get a wonderful view of our friends the Siberian tiger and again this is still one of my are you just sleeping oh yeah I, I saw a little tail twiggle there just sleeping so yeah this is uh, one of the coolest habitats i ever did i guess uh, I, a siberian inspired Siber a siberian tiger habitat i mean that, that is kind of close and kind of logic i guess and obvious but yeah that's what i did um quite a few weeks ago I'm just floating in the water how is that even possible where are you floating at that looks rather stupid where are you huh they're like hidden away uh, behind the bamboo. Oh, yeah. Why are you floating? Uh, this is interesting. 
But yeah, um, we've come some magic cats in here as well. Now, uh, before we go to the latest edition, which you guys do know, obviously, because we have seen that. But yeah, you can see this area completely changed. And I'm a big fan of this area, how open it feels and how much zoo-like it feels. I mean, look look at that. I, uh, this is going to be the thumbnail, sorry, but this has to be the thumbnail of this episode because it looks so cool. Uh, let me see if we can do something better about the, the sun direction. Uh, uh, maybe something like that. So there we go, another screenshot. But yeah, look, I mean, I mean, look at the, the openness of that area. Look at how cool this all works together. I mean, you can also take that view. It's all, I Sorry that I'm such a big fan of that, but I, I don't know. I never expected that this will turn out so beautiful. Now, uh, yeah, we can we can just go quickly forward. This is a nice little backstage area. Uh, I had a little trick here with the uh, bins um, that kind of prevent them from going to the right. So it almost looks like this is a very narrow entrance, a very narrow entrance, even though it isn't. Um, but yeah, and on the right hand side, this is the snow leopard habitat. Oh, there is even one. Oh God, no, did, get us stuck? I did get stuck, right? Oh, phew, that was close. Um, okay, this is Alia roaming around here to the outside. Uh, but if we go back, yeah, okay, this works. We have the big cat house, and if we go in, God, this was such a such a mess to build. Um, we have a wonderful indoor view of the snow leopard habitat. There is no one in here right now. No, they're all outside. I would be outside with this kind of weather too. But yeah, if we go further, <laughs> you can see, oh God, uh, this dude just moved in here. We have a whole backstage area in the center. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. To the right hand side, my favorite little bathroom. Uh, completely fully styled, but it's not all because on top of that building is there anyone? Oh, yeah, there is someone uh, we have a terrace We can have a look and uh, look fully into the um, What is that the cheetah habitat? This is the cheetah habitat So if you sit here you have a bit of a nice little calm area But you still have this wonderful view into one of the habitats and you have this stunning view of the uh, half dome so there's quite a few things that are really nicely uh, layout about this area and this is due to all of your feedback guys your feedback was really valuable when it comes to all of that but yeah so um, we go back into the big cat house because there's one animal missing and that is obviously the lion which is not inside again uh, with this kind of weather I would be outside as well um, yeah you have some little peaks down here but you're not allowed to look in here because I wanted to give the uh, lion some privacy but if we go outside and we turn to the left, which is one of the areas which is not done yet. Uh, you get a better view into the lion habitat. And there's one of the lioness. You can see her uh, in here, but it's kind of a gigantic habitat. And I still have to see if I build like a viewing tower or something. As we have the viewing tower, speaking of which, on the left hand side here for the cheetahs. So it's not only this viewing area, also with the custom uh, enrichment item with the prey hunting line or prey line or however it's called but yeah as we go in here you have this wonderful tower we can go up to this tower and then have a way better view of the cheetah habitat as you can see there's someone lying down here a little tail twiggle oh I love it I love it such a big habitat for so small animals actually they're not small but in comparison that um wow is that the magic staircase? This is interesting. Uh, very interesting. Very. Also, not that. Not only that they are floating. They. Uh, um. Whoa. Let me just see. Can I? I'm not magic. I wait. 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 What? What is happening here? We have an elevator, guys. I, I made an elevator. This is the magic ele... What the hell is happening? I... Uh... Uh... Okay. Just casually dropping down. No, that's fine. That's fine. Just do whatever you think it's fine to do. This is the magic tower. We, we, we keep it the magic tower. I, I, I missed the words, honestly. What the hell? But yeah, let's go back through the cat house. And I, you know, walking around here, I see that there is still a bit of a connection missing. Um, it's still very complicated to reach some of the areas, which has to be improved. But yeah, so as we come out here, we turn to the right and this is where the night house is sitting. And this might be the connection piece that we need. But yeah, as we go further towards this building, uh, you have the option to go in there to the left or to the right. But we start on the lower part. We go in and yes, this is the night house. Uh, I think you've seen that in uh, 
in the last couple of episodes enough, so I'm just going quickly peek in here. So this is where the Chinese pangolin is here. Um, whoops, uh, no one to see. Wait, wait, where are you? Oh, there's the Chinese pangolin. It's just walking around casually here. On the left-hand side, we have some of the exhibit animals and also my fake exhibit here, which uh, kind of just makes this a bit less repetitive. I guess that's what I wanted to say. Is there someone in here? No, God, you know what? It is so funny though. The weather outside here, like I mean in real world, can be so bad. But the moment I start to record, the sun is just completely crushing into the window here and I cannot see a single thing. So it's really hard to do this tour right now because my screen is reflective as hell and can barely see anything. Um, I can see, oh, look at that, Vox. Hello, little tail here, he's gonna poof. But yeah, uh, that's it, and then, oh, by the way, uh, for those of you who have seen the last episode, I did some of the fixes. You can see there is this light down here. Let me just, let me just make it nighttime for the moment. There we go. So now I don't see anything, but that's fine. So what I did is I uh, got your feedback and I changed some of the things. So we do have now these uh, floor lights and I feel like they add quite a lot of atmosphere. I like it a lot. Um, I fixed the door frames. I fixed also uh, this missing door over here. So now you have the entrance to the backstage area. And I also fixed this entrance over here with the walls and stuff. So yeah, it's all done. Uh, let's go back to... Uh, daylight before we head outside Shoo, boom it's uh, all bright again and nice so this is the outside then you come out and you have this uh, statue uh, reminding you of the fact that you've been into a night house but yeah we go further to the right and this is what you've seen last time as well we are back in the main area and this is where we are also back um, at the tortoises so um, that's now where it all came together and now I think it's it's time to leave uh, the Tejet cam and just move the camera up to have an overview of the zoo. So we did this little tour um, quite quickly though, but um, this is how the zoo looks so far. I think I'm quite happy with the layout, but uh, two things that really peaked into my, uh, or came into my mind now while doing that tour. So first of all, we have to uh, still fix some of the foliage uh, missing in here, in here, also on here, this area here and this area here. So there are quite a few areas where we need to do some foliage work. Um, this should be easily doable, but which uh, one thing that is a lot more obvious is that there is a connection missing between this area and this area, which is natural because this connection will be done via two bridge. Oh, actually, why the second one? two, three bridges over here and this whole pathway leading around that lake here. So it's going to be very interesting how I'm going to solve that because my idea was to have this here, the African um, area. So my idea was to have like a big African house where we can have some elephants in and uh, all these African animals that are not living together with the lions, but like zebras and, um, you know, giraffes and elephants. But usually they um, need some warmer area, so we need to build like a giant dome structure or whatever. So I, my idea was to put that here and then have this whole island over here uh, be their uh, shared habitat. So it's quite huge and it would also fit because we have the line on this side, so you kind of match the areas. The only issue though is um, we need to make sure that they cannot escape here, so I need to do some kind of work with the river which I think is doable. We can stick some stuff in, in the river and then I should not be able to go out there. But yeah, there's still, I don't know how exactly to do this with the bridges. So maybe we have to uh, do a walkable area thing or whatever uh, inside like a safari area. I don't know. Um, if you have an idea, just let me know. But the main issue, and I think that's the last thing we do before the DLC drops, I guess, is this whole area over here. This is the last little open bit. And this will be then the bridge that leads into the next area. And at the same time, uh, finishing off here. My idea was, and now it's very important that you guys, um, yeah, kind of confirm that this is a good idea or deny, I don't know. But my idea was to build a penguin habitat here. And I wanted to go for this kind of classic approach of a of a stone-based small penguin habitat. N not like a, a uh, you know, um, emperor penguin it's like more the smaller penguin versions that are living in each and every zoo you you, you go to like it's it's a common one uh, this would be very interesting to see how this turns out and I know I do know obviously that we don't have a penguin and I, I do not know if we get one at any time in the future but I thought 
And this is the main reason why I wanted to do it is that I didn't want to have like a full cut. Just imagine we get some aquatic animals and then we would not have any aquatic animal in this area, but we would have so many in this area. I don't know, it, it feels strange to me. So what I left open is um, then this area where we could put in the uh, penguin if necessary and we could always uh, try to change a bit of this area in the back here to get maybe in another aquatic animal who knows because this area at the moment is quite blank and uh, not that many reasons for the people to go there but yeah we will see in the future so now it's time for you guys to give me a whole lot of your feedback and while the doorbell rings down there it's a the perfect moment to end this episode i really hope you enjoyed this tour and i cannot wait to see your feedback until then have a good time and stay safe everyone until next time bye bye Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.